Okay, so today you're going to need your ruler, your eraser possibly. I recommend a regular pencil for this part of it, and then your drawing pencil for when you actually start doing your drawing, or charcoal or ink if you're going to do it in charcoal or ink. So you're going to start out by drawing your horizon line and a vanishing point. So we're going to do a fence in perspective. This would also work for other objects that are equally spaced apart, such as fence posts, trees, etc. But for our purposes, I'm going to use the example of a fence. You can do a drawing of another subject as long as there's repeating a repeating pattern that has the same distance between it. So this is how you would figure out the correct perspective. You would start out by drawing your first fence post. And I'm going to draw my first fence post so it's like here. And I want to have it be a minimum of at least six inches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a little bit bigger than six inches. That's OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the bottom of the fence post to the vanishing point. From the top, I'm going to do the same thing. And that's giving me my construction lines or my lines of recession because these lines are receding back to the vanishing point. And here you can see my fence will be located in the ground. If you were to draw your fence post above the horizon line, you would have a fence floating in the air, which would be okay if you wanted to do a fantastical drawing, which is okay for this assignment. So the next thing you're going to do is arbitrarily decide where that next fence post is and make sure you place it parallel to this post. And I'm gonna place mine right here. So what I've done is I've established the distance between the posts, and that is going to be consistent through the entire fence. But because we're looking at it in one point perspective, it's going to be going back in space, getting smaller and closer together as they go back in space. So how do you figure that out? Next thing you want to do is measure the exact size of your post. Here I have six and a quarter, which means half of that is three and one eighth. So I'm going to go to, oh, on here, not on there, because that one's not six and a quarter. This one, three and one eighth is right here. And that's the middle of my post. So now I'm gonna go from the middle of my post to the vanishing point. And that gives me that rate of recession. And so now what I can do is go from the top of the first post through the middle of the second post. And you don't want to confuse the horizon line with this midpoint line. So what I would recommend doing is erasing this part of this line so that it is a um, dotted line and you know that this is your midpoint line. <laughs> Sorry, Speedle, you gotta move. And this is the horizon line. So you're gonna go from the top of the first post through the middle of the second post And that's going to tell you where your third post is. So you're going to go parallel and draw that post in. And that's what you're going to continue to do. From the previous post through the middle of the post that you just drew. And that's going to tell, tell you where your next post is. And you want to make sure that you keep your lines pretty parallel. 
and that you try to really hit your vanishing point because when you start to have sort of small errors, they multiply as you go along and it can show up in the drawing. So what I'll be looking for is have your, have you used this pattern to establish the receding distance of each fence post? And you need to include a minimum of eight fence posts in your drawing. So right now, with this one that I've drawn here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. What I'm gonna do now is show you, if you wanna do a two-point perspective fence, you can. And what you would do at that point is you would start to go in this direction. So I'm gonna need a vanishing point. I'm gonna put it right at the end of my page. This is going to recede back into space at a much faster rate because look how close the vanishing point is. This one is more open because the vanishing point is further away. So that's something you might want to keep in mind when you're establishing your vanishing points. And here I have to go ahead and say, okay, I'm just going to guess because it's my sec second post and I have to just establish that myself. And I know that that's the midpoint, so I'm gonna go this way. And now I have, this is my midpoint, so I'm gonna go from the top of that post through the middle of that post and down. Now I'm gonna go parallel to this post and put in my third post. And so I can continue going on. I'll do one more and then we'll count my posts. I'll probably have a little, one more. i probably have nine rather than just the eight. So you can do as many as you want, but you need to do at least eight of your posts. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm good. So that's just establishing the pattern so that it's correct. What you have to do for this assignment is actually do a drawing that includes a fence, um, a stand of light posts, a stand of trees that are all equally distanced apart so that you can use this formula. So what you want to be cautious of, and you don't have to like do the other side and repeat this to get the width of each of the posts. You can just eyeball that. So if I was going to do that, I would take my 6B pencil now, and because this was just a regular pencil, I don't need dark lines for this structure here. So now I can take this pencil and say, I'm going to develop this into like a rounded post that has a ball at the top. So then I can take this and start to develop this as actual fence. And when you do your actual drawing, you might not want to use your ruler, but just let it be a more um, intuitive, spontaneous type of drawing. This is going to give you your guidelines. And so maybe this is a rounded post, and so maybe I'm going to put... Um, some indication of the definition of the post by using my pencil to give it that kind of markings. So maybe I could also give it more value on this side since I'm saying my sun is coming from this side. And if you don't want to use value in your drawing but you want to do mostly line work that would be okay but you're going to have to include some texture and some indications of value through line work then such as this kind of does that 
And maybe there's, um, you know, one of these kind of balls at the top. Anyways, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to add some clouds, some mountains in the background, a landscape in the background. Whatever you want to do, try to have fun. What I'm going to look for is that you have eight posts, trees, lamp posts, or some sort of structure that repeats at the same interval so that I can see that you've used the pattern so that each post, light, or whatever it is, gets closer together and shorter as it recedes back in space. You don't have to do two point perspective, you can just do one point perspective, which means you would do one, two, three, four, five, six. You would just draw two more posts this way. In the end, after you have your drawing, you're gonna erase all of the construction lines that are still visible. So I think that's it for this video. Have fun.